Hi guys, welcome back. This is Orange Hedgehog 2012 and today I'm going to be doing a plush review on the Silver the Hedgehog GE Entertainment Plush. But before I get along with that review, I just wanted to show you guys something. Um, you may remember from about a week or two ago, um, I'd done a review on the GE Entertainment Rouge the Bat Plush. Very excited indeed and very um, grateful to have her um, finally acquired her in my collection. The first uh, sort of West Western plush for a long time in fact. Um, yeah, for nearly 10 years. Um, yeah, um, unfortunately that plush, I mean, although it was a great plush, it wasn't really perfect. Um, I mean, okay, fair enough, you know. They're not going to come up 100% perfect. They're all sort of manufactured uh, sort of differently. But um, I decided in the end to buy another one um, just to see if I can get a better result. Um, my one was okay, but there were some sort of niggly bits that um, I wasn't particularly happy with. Um, particularly if I show you. First of all, a heart-shaped uh, breastplate was wonky. Um, her ears, yeah, they were a bit weird. They were sort of tagged down in some places. Um, now since then I have seen some other um, photos and videos of, of like other people's um, rouges and they're not as um, tagged down. Um, yeah, and thirdly, her legs were turning inwards. They were, you know, they were a bit wonky, shall I say. And just another little thing, um, the back of her boots was a bit... Um, dodgy there and also her tail her tail wasn't um sort of flicking upwards compared to her original design it was going sort of downwards as you can see there so yeah Let's see if i can focus on that there we go so yeah and yeah i think that was pretty much it and um so i decided to order another one but um when she actually came I was actually quite surprised. Um, what I'll do, let's bring the other one, and I much prefer this one to be honest. This is the um, the newest one. Now, as you can see, there's a big, big difference in terms of design. The right one is my original one, and this is the the new one. And as you can see, her ears are a lot more open compared to this one, which is more sort of tagged down. Secondly, finally, an actual sort of heart-shaped uh, design to her sort of breastplate. This one is perfect. It does actually look like a heart shape compared to this one, which is a bit... Oh, dear. <laughs> and her legs as well, a lot more straight. Um, okay, they are turning sort of more to the right, but, you know... I think that's pretty much how I'm going to get sort of like a near sort of perfect design there compared to this one which is a bit, yeah. And the other thing that I noticed actually about this plush is her tail is actually flicking up. Which is how her original design like should have been. What I'll do is, um, so you can get a bit of look. There we go. It's actually flicking upwards, which is how it should be, rather than pointing downwards. Now, whether this was like a manufacturing fault, or it could be um, a rare thing, I don't know, to be honest. Um, if you do have this plush, please let me know how um, your rouge, uh, rouge's um, tails have turned out, whether they're sort of pointing downwards or flicking upwards. So yeah, um, really happy. Um, also as well, I've noticed my right one, my original one, seems the head seems a lot bigger compared to the new one. And the design as well, just give you a side profile of the new one compared to my old one. The features are a lot more different. So yeah, I'm going to be keeping both anyway. So um got twins now 
so yeah those are my rouges but the the main um review that i'm going to be doing today is silver the hedgehog yeah poor silver he gets such a bad rep his nose is a bit wonky but um yeah and his arms for some bizarre reason they're not sort of like going down like that his right one's a bit boing sort of so to say he's going pointing that way yeah um originally i wasn't going to buy this plush um purely for the fact that i did see um a photo of someone silver and it didn't look that great to be honest um mainly because of this um feature here this um supposedly um sort of chest hair slash fur yeah um but in the end, I did think to myself, I, you know, I don't really have that much Silver the Hedgehog uh, merchandise. Um, I have like a fake sort of phony um, figure, but that's about it really, to be honest. So I thought, you know, what the hay. And plus as well, he was a lot cheaper compared to Rouge. Um, the one I paid for was just under $16, uh, which is round about just under £9. Well, sorry, no, um, I take that back, just under £10. So really cheap compared to ones that, you, I mean, you can, if you're UK resident, you can actually buy this in the UK. But he is quite expensive. I think he's around about just under £25. And that includes free um, shipping as well. So, you know, £9 compared to sort of twenty four ninety five is a big difference. So, yeah, um... In terms of height, he's around about the same as Rouge, actually. Um, I mean, to look at him, he looks a lot smaller. But I think... Ah, uh, I did measure him, and I think he measured around about 13 inches tall. So, yeah, I could do a quick measure up. And where is my tape measure? There is she be. Yeah, I think because of his um his quills, um they do sort of um count for a lot of um his height. Oh I'm trying to multitask here and I am failing miserably. Okay, if I can get this to lock in place. Lock there we go. So basically from the top of his quills like this needs to go a bit longer. There we go. So from the top of his quills, yep, he measures about 13 inches tall. So a good inch longer compared to Rouge. And surprisingly, he's actually quite soft, which is quite nice. Um, the body to him is made from like a synthetic material. But his gloves and his shoes is made from like a nylon material. Basically the same material as Rouge's boots. And as I said before, he's made by Great Eastern Entertainment. Um, and he's actually, in all honesty, he's not a bad plush at all, to be honest. Um, what I'll do, I'll start with the tag. My one is a bit bent and a bit creased, but... Um, that doesn't matter to be honest, doesn't really um bother me. Um exactly the same tag as my rouge. And it's actually I mean it's not a huge sort of tag as such, it, but it is quite a large one. As you can see, it is a plush. Oh, that zoom focus, I meant. Yep. Yeah. So you've basically got um an unshaded uh, sort of image of Sonic there and as you can see from the reflection it's um, quite nicely glossed um, tag but then again at the same time it's not really sort of too overly glossed as you can see it's manufactured by Great Eastern Entertainment the Sonic the Hedgehog logo choking hazards uh, made in China the, the barcode and if you're an iPhone user or a um, Android user, you can um, scan that with um, an app that you can download. 
I assume it, it takes you to sort of um, GE's website. And with this one, you can actually see a better look at the touch tag. Um, Rouge's one is really awkward. Um, there you go. Manufactured by Great Eastern Entertainment Co. Incorporated. Um, their address, which is based in California in the good old US of A. Their website, telephone number, contact details, Sega. Sega! <laughs> um, at the back you've just got basically made in China, all new materials, uh, the contents is polyester fibre used to stuff in material, we registered number, not for children under three years of age. So that's the tag and the touch tag. Let's start off with the review first on his um his facial features. Now his eyes are made from like uh, iron on transfer slash sort of vinyl. Uh, transfer. Let's see if I can. Uh, there we go. It's um yeah it's it's okay. It's um nothing special to be honest. It would have been nice if they used sort of like um stitching material, but um hey ho. His nose is a little bit wonky, but um that doesn't really bother me. His mouth is made from like a strip of sort of transfer vinyl material. Basically the same for his um his eyes there. Very nice construction, very nice sort of muzzle sort of area there. His, um, the side parts here is like um, eyeliner or something. I don't really know, to be honest. My one on the right is a, is a bit, um, yeah, flappy, shall I say. But the actual, I mean, they did get the, um, the colour right, which is cool. And it's actually quite nice. Quite nice um, sort of soft material. And, uh, yeah. He's got his uh, legs crossed for some bizarre reason. And his sort of um, head design is um, it's quite cool, actually. Very unique indeed. His ears are there. There we go. As you can see there, there's one. And that is the other. Very small ears, but very cute, I think. Now the only thing that I would say on the negative side, the um, cons I think, um, as, as you might call it, yeah, is um, his chest design is not that great to be honest. Um, they haven't gone all out, they've just basically used like a, um, a sort of one layered um, part here and the back, they followed it all the way through of the same synthetic material as the rest of his body. It would have been nice to actually use used like um some sort of fluffy chest air to make it sort of more realistic. His arms, my one is a bit weird. It's almost like he's trying to do a sonic impression with the sort of classic one up finger except his um his fingers are sort of closed. <laughs> but um for his gloves, obviously as I mentioned before it's made from like a nylon material and they've used sort of like a, a, a sort of transfer Let's see if that will zoom in there we go yeah they've basically I'm not sure if it's made like a I think it's like a print design um, of his um, markings on his um, his gloves and stuff and the same again, the same designs for his gloves as um, as Rouge. Oh, sorry, that was my finger there. And the right side. And same again. Let's see if that will... Um, there we go. Moving down. His legs are quite nice, actually. They're not like... Um, oh, sorry there. <laughs> keep forgetting... Uh, I to put my fingers. Um, yeah, basically his his legs are quite a nice even length, um, not too short and not too long. And moving down for his boots, really cool design actually. Um, these here are basically sort of printed on. They're sort of like incorporated into the the sort of nylon material. Let's see, there we go. Really cool. My the right one for some bizarre reason. Yeah, it's um, it's been uh, it's hiding there. But they've used the same sort of design, and I think you might 
no, I don't think actually you will be able to sort of stand him up. But they've used a very similar sort of 3D design for his um, his shoes. And while I'm here, these are the soles of his shoes. The um, the design there. Let's see if that will um, focus. There we go. Same again, sort of like a printed design, which is a uh, really cool. And basically the same again for the other side. If I flip him over, you can see the back of him. Move this tag out of the way. His hair design at the back, and he does come with the yellow strings. So if you so wish, there's a bit of black thready material there. So you can hang him up if you so wish. Just to give you a quick profile. Yeah. He's not actually a bad plush, um, in all honesty. Really cool design. The back of his um, sort of chest design, except he's on the back, not on his chest. His quills, on oh my one, they are a bit sort of wonky, the right one in particular, but um, that doesn't really um, bother me. His tail, back of his legs, and the back of his boots. I think they've pretty much... Um, but it's spot on with his design. Not sure if that part is supposed to be that dark, but um, yeah, I think just to give you a look. So yeah, I think that's pretty much it there for old silver there. Let me see if I can sort of prop him up. There we go. See if that will focus. There we go. So, yeah, guys, I think that's pretty much it there for silver. My review on the newish uh, GE Entertainment Silver the Hedgehog plush. Yeah, really cool. Um, I think it might bring him forward a bit. Yeah, guys, I think that's pretty much it there. I'm going to end it here. So, thanks for, lot for watching, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed this review. Um, yeah, it hasn't gone as smoothly as my previous one with Rouge, but hey-ho, that's how things go. So, if you're watching this review and you would like to see more, you know, please feel free to check out my channel for more reviews, both plush and non-plush related. As always, guys, keep your eyes peeled for more reviews in the coming weeks, and I shall see you later on. So thanks for watching guys, take care of yourself and I'll see you again soon. Bye bye.